problem up here on the hill site. My uh, digi repeater up here has locked up. See, when a when a signal comes in, a packet comes in, you sh this shall only be flashing when it when it detects a a, uh, a code. But it's it's constantly it's constantly on now. And uh, on the website or on the internet, uh, this thing doesn't show anymore. And the only way I could clear that is to come all the way up here, 4,000 feet, and cycle the power on this box here. So I'm going to do that real quick here and see if it'll fix it. It's off. Turn it back on. And it's back to life. And you can see now that it's receiving packets uh, regularly now. Those are packets coming in when this light comes in, comes on. So this is the third time that this thing has locked up on me. I don't want to replace this because this particular box, I have another one, but this one here is really sensitive. Uh, I pick up more traffic with this than, than another of the same model. Maybe it's an older version or something, but, but this one is real sensitive. So I actually want to keep this up here for its sensitivity, but I don't want to come up here every two or three months to come up here to recycle the power uh, because it's locked up on me. It's going to be a hassle. So I thought maybe I could do that remotely. And that's where this device comes in. This is a Norcom model NC400 decoder. DTMF recoder, dual tone multi uh, frequency, and uh, if you're not familiar with that, is the, is the same thing that a touch tone phone uses, the the digits that you hear on the phones when you dial. Uh, this is able to decode it, and it's got three relays, and you could put up to I think three different uh, codes, you know, like one, two, three, four. And if you punch those codes in through through the radio or any other way, uh, it'll decode it and, and trip these relays or, or activate the relays either on or off or however you want to configure it. So I'm thinking about maybe using one of these relays, put in 12 volts on one, on on the contacts here of the relay. So every time that I, that that this thing locks up on me. All I have to do is look up on the internet and if I don't see my site listed on there on, on Google, APRS.FI rather, uh, punch in those codes and this thing will decode it, activate the relay momentarily, then go back to normal. That's just enough time for, for, for the box here to sort of reset by taking the power away. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I know this is not really prepper related or preparedness, but actually it is because uh, that's just one example that I'm using to to interface this 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 board with with this my setup here. Uh, you could hook up an alarm to it, a uh, some sort of signaling, so you could signal your family that hey something's going on. Uh, uh, I, you know. Uh, all sorts of other applications that you could do with this uh, uh, lock a door you know whatever and all these other wires uh, are for other functions like uh, transponder uh, you can make a radio transmit uh, a code or something so you know all, there's all sorts of stuff so all I need for my application is just three wires to interconnect Pow power with this red wire ground and this green wire is uh, receive audio from the radio and is interconnected in this uh, side connector to the radio that I'm using and um, wherever you could tap that signal off whether it be the discriminator or speaker output but with the speaker output you gotta be careful because it, it cannot take too much uh, amplitude but since this is a uh, just a digital repeater uh, where Amplitude is really not important as far as loudness for somebody to hear. Just a machine has to hear. I could take it off of there and just uh, adjust to to what it what's the limit. Um, so it's sharing the same line that that the uh, tracker is using to decode the receive signal coming in. So 
that's the hook up there that's the only hookup three wires you got many more other wires but but they're for other applications because this this device could do uh, a number of other things here's an example on how you could turn on a device with any radio that could transmit a subaudible tone which every radio out there amateur you name it is able to do that that just comes standard with the radio so this particular device is a wind warning device to let the boaters know that it's excessive wind, be careful, or if the red light comes on, to get out of the water. It's too unsafe to, uh, to be on the water. So here's a 800 megahertz HT that I have programmed for it, and I'm going to turn the yellow light on remotely. There it goes. The light itself takes a while for it to glow because it's a halogen light. But the motor to uh, strobe the light uh, on and off is uh, working, as you can see the motor activate. So I just notified everybody to be on the lookout because uh, there's high wind conditions here. But in reality, that's not true. That same concept could be used to notify your family at home that, hey, I'm on the way home. Just a quick little transmit on your HT or your mobile, it would enable a device at your home an audible alarm or a visual alarm to say hey I'm on my way home SHTF has hit the fan and uh, I'm on my way home and I'll contact you every 30 minutes or every hour on the hour to let you know that I'm safe so it's already hooked up I got my uh, interconnection here with the green wire that's receive audio so this could detect those tones. My black and red wire here for power to power this unit up. And then in this terminal strip here, I got the top relay, which is a momentary relay with uh, power coming in constantly. And then a normally, normally closed relay output. So this connection is always connected to the black wire here to feed power to my box here. So there's constant power there until I transmit the right code to this device to tell it to momentarily take power off and then reapply it again. So let's demonstrate it. I got the, this, this thing here and I'm gonna go ahead and transmit my tones. So let's see. There it is. It activated and you heard the click. So it works. So let me go ahead and do that again. Oh, I didn't like it that time. Hold on. There it is. This thing's resetting. And it just reset. So I don't have to come up here anymore to reset this manually. I could do it within 50 miles of uh, transmitting to this site. And this site here is 4,000 feet high. I could probably go a little bit further as long as I could overcome the other transmitters that are out there. But I put my mobile into high power, get close enough, you know, down in the valley, transmit my code, reset, and I'm good to go. Uh, I live close by here, so I could actually do this from my uh, garage. Uh, with with my handy talkie so no more trips up here specifically to mess around with this thing here and remote control of this device here just one little thing that I could do to make life hell a lot easier for me and this you could imagine what other application that this could uh, serve you out in the field uh, in the proper mode or the preparedness mode or just farting around as a hobby alright Gorilla Geek out